Hey, what's up, Internet? In this video, I'm going to show you how to animate this lower third using Adobe After Effects. Let's jump in. Let's go ahead and jump into this tutorial. Uh, I just want to take one last look at the lower third that we'll be creating. Uh, it's a really basic and kind of simple modern um, lower third that can be styled in many different ways with different fonts. Uh, so I think that it's a pretty versatile um, lower third for anyone to kind of get started with. So let's go ahead and just jump into this. So I'm going to go ahead and close my project down and restart. So we're all starting from scratch. So go ahead and select new composition and make your settings look like mine. I have uh, dimensions of 1920 by 1080. Uh, frame rate of 30 frames per second and a uh, duration of 10 seconds. Uh, you're welcome to change this to 4K and adjust these settings, but if you don't want to mess with it, go ahead and just make yours look like mine. Once you have your settings like this, go ahead and hit OK. First thing I'm going to do is go to my Action Save and Title Save uh, icon right here. Click and select Action Save Title Save to bring up these guides. And we're going to use these to draw our rectangle boxes. So we're going to draw a title box and a subtitle box. To do that, we'll come up to our uh, shape tool and we're looking for the rectangle tool. So go ahead and click and hold and select the rectangle tool. And then we will style it uh, with just a fill. So I'm going to click this red box. I'm going to change it to white. And now I'm going to come down to this um, edge right here of the title safe and just about here I'm going to click and drag a box out to about halfway down the screen and we can change this later to kind of fit our uh, text um, or whatever we choose to write in here and then uh, I'm going to press V on my keyboard to deselect this and then I'm just going to click off of it and then I'll click it one more time and that will show me uh, the anchor point um, and what we need to do is move this anchor point to this vertice right here so that when we scale and animate this box It will animate from this left hand side and jet out to the right hand side um, So let's go ahead and move that now. So With this box selected uh, the shape layer selected we'll need to select our anchor point tool You can select this right here or press Y on your keyboard Once you have that selected go ahead and grab the anchor point and you will drag it all the way down to this vertice and to get it exact hold in your control or command button and look for it to light up like a little box like there and then let go and now it's snapped to that little anchor point so now when we scale it it will collapse to the left okay so before we move on we're going to actually duplicate this and move it just below so I'm uh, swapping over to my uh, move tool or selection tool I'll select it and press control or command D to duplicate and now I'm going to hold in shift and drag or move and hold in shift and move this down just about right here and now I'm going to change the color of this box to be red and to just kind of differentiate between the two title boxes well now Let's go ahead and select both of these boxes and press S on the keyboard to bring up their scale properties. And we're going to unlink them so they're unconstrained and they can um, uh, we can move both of these properties independent of each other. So what we're going to do is we're going to select that uh, subtitle box and let's just go ahead and rename these so we get everything just kind of organized and tidy. So I'm going to change this to subtitle and I will right click and select the title and now I'm going to reorder these I'm going to drag this on top so it's as it's layered um, like it is on the screen and then I'm going to select the subtitle box and now I'm going to look for the Y axis so we have X and then Y and then I'm going to just click and scrub click and drag until this is just a little bit smaller and then I'm going to just hold in shift and tap my arrow key upward and maybe let go shift and just tap it down. I'm going to keep mine uh, just above this action safe line. Um, it doesn't really matter too much, but um, I'm just kind of particular like that. 
Okay, so now we have these in place. Let's go ahead and add our text. So I'm closing these down and I'm gonna lock them. We're gonna go up to our type tool, select our type tool, and then click and drag a box out. And then you can just go ahead and start typing in your first name and last name. And I'm just gonna type in John Smith and you can't see anything. Uh, if you don't see anything, press Control A. And then what could be happening is that your text is too big and it's just not showing or you're using a color that is the same color as your box behind it. And that's my case. So with mine selected, I'm going to change it to black to just show uh, my font. I'm going to style this however I want. I encourage you to do the same. And that looks pretty good. So now I'm going to select my selection tool and deselect that John Smith. And then I will drag out another text box and that will be for this subtitle box. So I will click and drag and then I will write a subtitle. So and you can't see it. So I'm going to press control A like I did before and shrink this down. And there it appears. I'm going to change this to regular and then go ahead and continue typing. Then I'll select my selection tool once again. And now I'm just gonna use my keyboard um, arrows to just kind of center this with my eyes. And same with John Smith. And then I'm gonna bring up my rulers. So view and show rulers. There it is. And click and drag. And I just wanna make sure that these are lined up. So I'm actually going to pull this over just a little bit, grab both of these and just give it a little bit more space on the left hand side. Cool. And that looks pretty good. So now um, you could leave this like this, uh, but I'm going to kind of scale down these boxes so they're a little bit tighter around the text. So I'm going to lock the text, unlock the title boxes, press S on my keyboard. And now we're going to adjust these um, X properties. So we'll start with the title. I'll click and drag this to the left. Somewhere right about here. I can keep it kind of e equal distant. Um, this like white space on both sides. I'm holding in control as I'm scrubbing this. And that just kind of slows down the speed of the scrub. And I might just type in 54. Yeah, that looks good. Okay, so now I will scale this one down by holding control as I kind of get close. And that looks good to me. All right, so that will be the design. Now what we'll do is we're going to start animating these uh, boxes. So we'll start out with, um, let's just kind of reorganize our layers just really quick. So I'm going to move this animation subtitle text just above the subtitle box. So we have both elements down here just next to each other and then same with the title box and title text okay so now let's go ahead and animate these boxes so I'm gonna move my playhead to 10 frames and then I'm going to um, hit the stopwatch here to put a key uh, for those values on the title box and the subtitle box now let's go ahead and rewind the playhead all the way to the start and we're going to change these values to zero. So I'm going to click this one and type in zero, select this X value and type zero and enter. And now when you scrub on the timeline on this playhead, you can see that they're now animated on. I'm going to come to one second and press N, the letter N on my keyboard to trim the work area down. So now when I press space bar and to do a RAM preview, you can kind of see this animated on in old loop. And that's looking pretty good. Uh, I'm going to make it just a little bit nicer by adding some easing. So I'll select all these keys. I'll right click, go to keyframe assistant and easy ease. And we'll play that again. And that just adds a little bit more softness to the beginning and end of that motion. Okay, the next thing we'll do is we will um, animate the text on. So let's go ahead and just kind of 
close those up so it's just a little less distracting. We'll select the text on both of those, the title and subtitle text, and press P on the keyboard. And let's come to uh, the 20th frame and add a key on both of those. We'll come to 10 frames, we'll rewind to 10 frames, and now we'll m move these um, pieces of text out of the way. So I'm going to start with the, the main title text, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to click it, and then click and drag this downwards while holding shift so it constrains it to the, that axis. And what you want to do is you want to make sure that you move this text completely out of that box. I've had it where I've just barely clipped it and you can see it showing. Uh, we just want to make sure it's completely out of the way. And that looks good. So now when I scrub on the timeline, on the playhead, you can see it now animates from the position we put it to where it was. Just like that. Now we're going to do that same thing for the subtitle text. But I'm going to shy that so we don't see it. Come to that subtitle text and we'll do the opposite. We're going to select it and drag it for upwards and out of the frame of that box. Make sure it's not clipping. Uh, if you need to, you can turn on transparent background. So I'll click this box right here and to just get a better view and that looks good. Okay, so now when I scrub this down or scrub the playhead, you can see it animate on. All right, so let's make this animation just a little bit nicer. We'll select these keys, we'll right click, say keyframe assistant and easy ease. And then let's press uh, spacebar uh, after we show that one to just kind of get an idea of how these are working. All right, so that's looking pretty good, but now we need to make it so that we cannot see the text when it's outside of the box. To do that, we're going to use an effect called set matte. So come over here to the effects panel. If you don't see that, go uh, window, effects and presets, and then you'll see this. When you have that popped open, just type in set matte. And now what we'll do is I'm going to just illustrate this by showing just this John Smith. And I'm going to have it overlaying just like that. So now when I click and drag this to that text layer, the John Smith text layer, um, it's now applied and it's up here in the effects panel. We'll come up here and we're going to select um, this option right here and we're going to change it from its actual text to the box below it, so the title box. As soon as I select that, you can see that all the text beyond this uh, shape's boundaries get clipped and essentially disappear. So now when I scrub the timeline, it doesn't show up until it enters that box. Voila. All right, so now let's do that same thing, but to the subtitle box. So I'm gonna just hide those and show the other ones. And we'll see, we'll do the same thing. I'll have it halfway. I'll select this layer, the text layer, and rather than click and drag, I'm just gonna double click on this. It'll apply that uh, same effect that is up here. I'll change this from its actual uh, text layer to the box below it. And you can see it gets clipped and we'll just kind of scrub through to make sure everything looks good and that's looking great so we'll show all the layers press spacebar on the keyboard and see how that's animating all right that's looking pretty good so now let's finish this by doing the reverse so it can uh, animate out so to do that i'm going to uh, move my work area to about four seconds That right there and then um, I'm going to show all the keys so I'll select all these layers by holding in shift and clicking the top one and the bottom one and then press U on your keyboard to show all the keys and now uh, essentially all we got to do is copy and paste these in the same uh, distance that they are down here but in reverse so we'll just start from the top okay so um, We'll start with this key right here. We'll select this, press control copy, and it is 20 frames in. So we'll go 20 frames back, which would be right here. And I'll paste that right there by pressing control and V. Then I'll select this frame, press control C, move 
10 frames in front and paste that. So now it reverses out back to where we initially had it. Now we'll do the same thing for this next layer. So I will select the first key right here, come right here and then paste that. Select this key, control C, move to the very end, paste that. We'll select this keyframe, control C, and paste that here. Select this one, control C, move 10 frames back, paste it. One more time, control C, paste, control C, and the very end, and paste, control V. All right, so now you can kind of scrub that and see it animating out. So let's watch it in its entirety. We've got some pause here. Cool. All right, so um, that's pretty much it, but I just wanted to show you if you want to change the duration, uh, you can extend this to whatever you want. So five seconds and then select these frames. Um, I'm going to actually move my playhead to five seconds and then I will click and drag these and hold in my shift key so it snaps that keyframe right here where we want it. So if you need your um, lower third to last a little bit longer on screen, you can adjust it by moving these keys back and forth. And that pretty much concludes this tutorial. If you want to see how you can uh, export this to be used in Adobe Premiere or your video editor choice with a transparent background, check out this next video. Thank you.